Hey guys, this is John here from freedomboundbusiness.com. Today I'm going to show you how to add and format images in your Kindle ebook. So this is going to be a somewhat of a tutorial video. This process isn't too hard. All we have to do is really choose an image, a JPEG that you want and add it inside of your Kindle book. So what I've done here is just copied some filler text so I can replicate a Kindle book that you might have. Now you might want to add a image say at the beginning of the chapter it doesn't really matter where wherever you're gonna add it or wherever I'm going to show you you can take that and put it apply it to any part of the book so with that being said let's add some images first I need an image so I have Pixabay pulled up here, which is just a site that you can uh, get royalty free images from. So, of course, you can search what you want here. I'm going to go here to and pick this hummingbird. Going to download that. And you might need to create an account, and that's fine. You'll just download this for free, the smallest uh, size here. So, I'm going to download it here my download folder and then what I'm gonna do is just pull it up here I'm just dragging it you can open file you could just go into insert and then select pictures and select the actual file I just like dragging and dropping okay so let me put this in the center here I think that looks better um, let's say we had a bunch of these so say you wanted two pictures and you wanted them side by side for some reason. Um, this actually is not allowed. Well, you can do it. It's just going to show up um, really bad on your uh, Kindle book. So just make sure they're stacked up upon each other like a newspaper style type of thing. You don't want it um, side by side. Okay, so you can add these wherever you want. Not like that, of course. You want them... Let's create a enter here. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much it. There's a few other things or parameters you should be aware of when you're adding images to your Kindle books. And I'm going to talk about those right now. All right. So what I did here is actually just copy and pasted some of the things that you're going to need to be aware of when you're adding images to your Kindle books specifically the delivery cost and this is found at uh, I forget uh, some KDP page I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out but as you can see here this amazon.com charges you a dollar and uh, basically 15 cents per megabyte so it's ideal to have a file size a word document size that's not too large when it comes to file sizes and as you can see here this is one of my books and it says your file size after conversions is 0.2 megabytes so when it comes to the 70 percent price of 299 i'm being charged three cents so you can imagine um, if you had more pictures and by the way this book doesn't have any pictures in it it's just filled with text but if i had a lot of pictures then my price would go up in order to prevent your file size your word document size from being way too big what you want to do before adding images, perhaps you have an image already, but the image is too big, you've checked the file size. What you can do is go to a website called webresizer.com and it will resize your photo. And as you can see here, this is an example. This was 31.3 kilobytes and it got reduced by 68%. And you can take your um, images here so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go upload it here and then upload image okay so this is the original image right here at 29 kilobytes KB and we just reduced it to 8.4 KB so you can do this download this image save it to whatever folder you need I'll just do it real quick here so and though add a tag o opt at the end of the file name so we'll just save that there and what we can do here is not use these instead 
I guess I could have showed you that first, but whatever. So it reduced it a little bit. You can expand it if you want. Of course, that defeats a little bit of purpose of uh, it resizing it. But now, another thing that you can do once you upload all of these images uh, in your Kindle book, okay? Once you've, let's say you wanted to add them throughout your chapters. What you can do is double click on the image. This is going to bring up a uh, format tab and you're going to want to go to the compress pictures. Okay. And here what you're going to want to do under resolution is check off the web PPI. This is good for web pages and projectors so it's just going to reduce the resolution of the image reducing the size or helping reduce the size and in doing so it doesn't really um, lose any of the quality of the pictures as you'll see also in this compression options I like to uncheck this because I want it to be applied to every single image that I have in the Kindle book so I'm just gonna click OK here and as you can see there's not really much of a change so that's pretty much it that's how you add Kindle images to your Kindle books I hope this video helped if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below if you like this video give it a like and if you haven't already subscribe to this channel I make Kindle publishing videos here and there and also because I know this might come up or it's something that I would ask how do you do create space formatting of images and adding images to your CreateSpace file. And for that, honestly, I outsource it to someone on Fiverr or someone more experienced. I've tried to do it in the past and just going back and forth from Word to Adobe um, PDF, it's just a, a headache and I'd rather not deal with it because sometimes the conversions work and sometimes they don't. For example, uh, it'll say here that this image, for example, if I go to, let me see, because CreateSpace requires, I believe, 300 PPI. Last time I checked, I honestly forgot. I don't use too many pictures, but um, th they require some type of PPI. You can look it up on CreateSpace. I believe it's 300. And when I switch it to PDF, I made sure it was 300 but when I switched it to PDF and checked the image in PDF it actually still said it was 200 or whatever original PPI it was at so um, you can definitely do it yourself I think you might need some special tools I don't care uh, I just know this process is easy CreateSpace is a little tougher one last note on CreateSpace if you add a whole bunch of images throughout your um, book then that's really going to reduce your royalties from your create space paperback book so keep that in mind and especially if you do colored images that's going to take even more royalty share from you um, so that'll cut into your revenue definitely something to keep in mind that's all I wanted to say about that I'll talk to you guys in the next video talk soon bye